do that every day, but it's specific for today, Thursday vibes. Yes, yes. Now, as you can see, there is an artist giving some type of vibe himself, and we have him in studio. Watch I introduce Kwanzaa, then we get on from there. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. I'm not uh, feeling any type of way that we're both wearing yellow. <laughs> <coughs> but that's fine. What's your name? Please um, address the citizens. Okay. Um, I'm Lucid Mizani. I'm a singer, songwriter, and also a recording and performing artist. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, the term Lucid is, is a very interesting one. Why, why, why would you pick that as your name? It means light. Uh -huh. It means relevant, uh -huh. straight to the point, uh -huh. and enlightened. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So you're straight to the point. I'm straight to the point. Uh, it also had a meaning to have clarity, because you can have lucid moments. You say, I'm talking about lucid moments. Lucid dreams. Yeah. Yes, there yeah. we go, there yeah. we go. Yeah. 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 Hey, so it was very particular how you went with that name. Yeah. All right, yeah. Lucid, yeah. Yeah. tell us a little bit about yourself. And before we get into that, yeah. I want to tell you that this particular jam that we've from hearing, mm -hmm. you have that Camp Mula vibe. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank like, you. Is it on purpose? Mm, I wasn't chasing the Camp Mula vibe, but I, have, I, I feel like I have my own vibe. But you see Camp Mula there, I, I grew up listening to Camp Mula. Aha! Yeah. So you're a fan? I'm, I'm a, a fan. fan. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Where yeah. did they go though? But okay, that's beside the point. Yeah. Tell me about the track we've just heard. Um, the track I just released, uh, it's called Penkila. Mm -hmm. And it talks about uh, breakups. There's a lot of breakups going on. So like I, I put myself into that shoe and I made a song about heartbreak that people could relate to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the worst thing about heartbreak? What do you think? The worst thing about heartbreak? Yeah. It's not moving on. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay, I get that. Yeah. I get that. Kwanzaa, if you're, if you're used to doing something with someone for yeah. a, a period of time, it, yes. it kind of it feels a little bit like you're missing something. True. true yeah. True. But I've also met people who feel like the worst part of breaking up is utambia nini watu. Jumli piga picha, mkat postia, wane, mkidok dogo, chilling with bae, kidok dogo, hands are holding, kidok dogo, bae has taken you where, and then when bae or you guys decide to cut it off. Uh -huh. Why do you think people break up? Hmm. People outgrow each other, mm -hmm. probably cheating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think money has anything to do with it? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Like I, I see you just want to spend, 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 and I'm not wired like that. And when money literally does not grow on trees, so true, it's a wrap. Yeah, yeah. Ah, OK. So guys, listen, there's, there's more than one reason why people break up, OK? Not just cheating all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and not always looking for a financial stable person. Yeah. It's important, yes. but mental health peer is important, yes, OK? Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. Walk me through. Um, from the point you decided your name is Lucid, your artist's name yes. is Lucid, all the way till now. Walk mm -hmm. me through that. Hmm. From the name I decided, I, th I think I, 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 I have had like other names before, before I came to Lucid. Mm -hmm. But you see I like... I to just turn a little bit so you, uh, they can see you proper, ah, okay. proper. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Oh, handsome. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I've had a um, couple of names before I, I stuck to Lucid. Yeah, before, so... Mm -hmm. Like the point that I got to that I stuck with Lucy it was the like point that I like took music like seriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, those other names was, was when I was growing, coming up. Tell me, see. tell me, tell me those other names. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they, they just weird <laughs> <laughs> They're corny. They're kind of corny. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, I, so I stuck with Lucy. Uh -huh. Yeah, at first, funny thing, I had a friend who used to tell me, hey, I don't like Lucy, but right now he. Yeah, number, one yeah, number one fan. Number one fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. So you finally taken the industry or the game seriously, and then what? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, after I chose the name Lucid, obviously, Sasa, I started Sasa investing in music seriously, investing in uh, videos, yeah, meeting, meeting up with producers, working with like producers who have been in the industry. They've, some of them have managed to help me to show me the directions. You see, yeah, because. On this art journey, you don't have a book where you read. Mm, and there's uh, no manual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So like, each each artist has his his or her own journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
You must be special because I don't think, first of all, finding a producer who's been in the industry for a while and, yeah. and is known, getting their time is, is not that easy. Yeah. And then not only getting their time, but also having them sprinkle some wisdom into your, your journey. Like how, did you, how did you manage that? It was, it was a challenge at first. Mm -hmm. I, started, I started on some little studios going to my friend's studio in the, in the bed sitter studio, you know. Mm -hmm. But then you keep on working from there. So like when you work from there, you, you keep on getting better and you keep on getting opportunities. If you're good, if you keep, if you keep on working hard and you're good at it, mm -hmm. you're gonna meet like producers who like, are, like listen to your stuff and they're like, hey, this guy has something. We mm -hmm. must invest in this dude mm -hmm. or we must work with this dude to make him get to the next level. Mm -hmm. So it's always been kind of that way, yeah. There's an artist I've seen, I want to say grow, not that I met her at her point of, you know, the word I want to use is I maybe I probably should not, but I didn't meet her from her beginning. In the beginning. I did not meet her there, but I met her somewhere in, in her coming up. Namali yeah. say she's making a lot of noise, but then come people with their own opinions. Now you know you can't control anyone's imagination. So apparently as soon as you put in the work, as soon as you do the consistent consistency, <laughs> Okay. And then you you know you do all the wonderful things that come with uh, hard work and discipline, and then you finally make a name for yourself, and then they come and say, Ah, um, see, oh, I don't have two pesa. I'm ali ali nani ali fanya tu tuvi tu 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 vi tu tu ndo ingia board. Like, how do you deal with that kind of cloud? You didn't hmm. look for it, but here they are calling you out. Okay, personally. I'd say personally, I, I, the reason I started my music was not because of other people. Mm -hmm. So the other people don't influence me or whatever they say doesn't change my mind as long as I, had my, I have my mindset to what I have to, uh, to, to, the, to a certain goal. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah, that's important. Because yeah, yeah. that is something that is definitely out of your control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they can tell me anything. <laughs> whatever I do, they just got to take it. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Do you have people in your support system? who you confide in, like before you release a track, do you go and tell your best friend or, or your, your person? Because I've met an artist who told me, by the way, what if she doesn't like it and everyone else does? Like I, I can't go home and know she did not like my song. Does it feel that vulnerable to you? Uh, no, because I have, uh, when we're recording, I have a, a group, like we have a, a team. I have a team behind me, like my producer, and have some people who also, a DJ who also listens. But uh, so those are the people like, we can't be wrong, we can't be all wrong. If, you know, I, I can just, I, when it's just me, I could say, ah, this song is great, but when we release it. Mm. But, wah, when we, when wah, all, when you, <laughs> but when you all feel it, yeah, yeah, that means it's really dope. So mm -hmm. as long as we all feel the song and everyone feels like, hey, this song, it's right to get released, so we release it then. How well do you take criticism? I guess you 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 done a really good job, but I up to dog or just change this, and maybe that's your favorite part of the track. Yeah. How well do you take that criticism? Uh, from I take criticism criticism from my producers when you're recording, obviously because I'm not perfect. Yeah, so I am I, I I don't think I take it badly. Mm -hmm. I take it as if it's correcting me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, bro. Because <laughs> <laughs> it could be a possibility. Yeah, yeah it's true because uh, everyone has his, his or her own song. There, there's there's going to be some people who love that particular kind of song you released. And this one, you have, you're going to have some new fans. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, yeah. So it's always mm -hmm. here and there. Yes, you can't, you can, they can't always live your songs continuously. Hey, you're, yeah. you're wise, Nani. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm really glad you've taken that to heart, and yeah. Yeah, I really yeah, like it. Yeah, yeah. Mm, okay, <laughs> hashtag is Thursday Vibes. Yes. Does it pay? Does it pay all your hard work? Does it does it pay all this? Because I keep sabu na nikiskia vinyo Papa John's so shina metu shoutia pa vinyo na lipa one thousand two hundred and fifty. It's twenty two thirty ya kutoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have returns? You do? I, f I, I have returns. I don't have bigger, big returns like them, but where I am right now, it pays. Like, trust me, it pays.